trekking across one of America's greatest motorcycle roads. Hey, I got some fellow riders that joined us on the road. Looks like we got uh, an ADV bike and not quite sure. And then I got a sport bike right here ripping by. So this here is Gold Creek Parkway, uh, Northern Georgia, Route 136. And uh, if there's not a truck on it, this is a nice road to ride, especially in the morning when it's empty. This is coming up into uh, towards Dawsonville, Ella J, uh, which you're starting to really get up into Northern Georgia right before Tennessee, Northwestern North Carolina. So if you're in this area, Gold Creek Highway 136, it's a good ride when there's not a truck, which I don't run into trucks too often, so especially on a Sunday morning. Ah, always the case. Light misty rain. Visibility is not the best. Holy cow, look at this. This is Highway 5 outside of Ella J, Georgia. Pretty far up. The sign was just a bear crossing sign, next 10 miles. Interesting. So I just pulled into uh, Tennessee, Highway 68, Copper Hill. All these logging trucks. And there's a big copper mine here, but as you can see, the weather is taking a gnarly turn. So we gotta go up that way yet. So let's hop back on and go to Cherahola Skyway. Let's hop back on stealth. Change the GoPro battery. Shut. I don't even know. Let's see how much further we have to go to get to this uh, destination. Your flow. Uh, engine start. Start oil pressure. Check. Navigation Stand being initialized. Directional signal check. RPM increasing check. Navigational devices on. on and locked. Beacon lights on. Highway lights on. Check. Express Navigation. Navigation. Sport Mustang 3 at exit 62. Ready for you. All right, so I got this bike with 1,800 and something miles. I'm up to 3,371. Uh, show me where, here we go. We are 35 miles away. It says 50 minutes. How is that possible? All right, so we got, look at this squirrely, crappy, gravel laden parking lot big old potholes so welcome to Tennessee I didn't see a sign but this is uh right outside of Georgia it's Teleco no 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 this is uh Copper Hill Tennessee Hopefully the weather clears up. Because where we're going up has awesome views. <laughs> yeah, so we're north on 68. Yeah, look at that. Runway Superstore Fireworks! There's a missile. As long as it doesn't keep getting colder. That bank sign back there says 59. What does this say? 
Coker Creek, Coker Creek, Tennessee. I gotta tell you, this 68, which leads over to Cherry Hollow Skyway, is a pretty awesome road in itself. Very windy, twisty, quick transitions. Here we go, sign says, entering Cherry Hollow Skyway. 165 Tennessee oh, Look at this Ready guys, so here is the entry for the Chera Hall of Skyway and we just entered it. We got the gold wing. Weather got a lot better, but there's the sign. Here, the Skyway took nearly 40 years to construct at a cost of almost $100 million, and it opened in 1996. We're here, and we're gonna take it all the way. All the way to Robbinsville, North Carolina. So you can see we're going to get up to 4,400 feet, 5,300 feet, pretty awesome. So let's get back on the wing and give it a go. Come somebody ripping along. Wow. I would say that was definitely not the speed limit. called the Cove. It says here, the Southern Appalachian Mountains represent the richest and most biologically diverse ecosystem on Earth. So I just showed you that. Um, apparently a lot of the stuff's overgrown and they don't cut it as much anymore. So you can't see like you used to. Not sure what's up with that. So I just jumped up on the wall and got a view. But I mean on a Sunday, look. <laughs> Pretty awesome.
Look at this, North Carolina state line. Ah, so there we go, North Carolina. How about that? So it turns out, Cherry Hall Skyway dumps you in Robbinsville, North Carolina. And that is about 30 minutes to the Tale of the Dragon. So I have a three hour and one minute ride back. So I'll hit that another day. Been on the bike since 7 a.m. It's 12.30 by the time I get back. It'll be 3.30, quarter of four. So that's like a nine hour day. Not bad. Probably gonna be just about 300 and something miles and change. So, if you're in the Tennessee, North Carolina area, Cherry Hall Skyway, we recommend. It's a good road. However, the overlooks, they got to clean up the brush and the vegetation because it's taken over. So, I don't know what's going on there. It looks like at one time the views were a lot better, but the road's worth riding. So, and I recommend Sunday instead of Saturday so you have a lot of it to yourself. So we are on 129 South, which is the Dragon, but we're heading away from it. Still see North Carolina, all the glory. So check out some other videos, see them at the end right here. I'll pop them up. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell everybody. Thanks for watching, and don't forget. I am an anonymous fighter USA.